Recently, The Legend of Zelda has re released their newest gameplay trailer, and I wanted to go back through all of the older and original trailers to see what has been changed. Now, knowing what we know now, I'm going to go back and test and do a little bit of a minor comparison. Okay, let's do it. Let's take a look, see here. So first, let's go with the original trailer. Equal to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild first look trailer. Okay. So now with the newest trailer, we know that this is the Zonai. The Nomai. This is an Outer Wilds. Some symbols in the background. I'm not going to really think too hard about what each of these background elements mean because we don't know. Oh, let's go back there real quick. So this is going to be Link's new hand. We know that. And then from the most recent trailer. Please lend him your power. He didn't seem to have the arm right there. You look, this isn't his new arm, this is his scarred up arm. And so, I'm guessing Zelda is asking whoever's arm it is. For them to lend Link his power to help defeat Ganondorf. Okay, back to it. Okay, we got a bull that he's riding and he's going in the underground. This is what everybody thinks, right? That there's going to be the sky element, the underground element. However, the underground element has not been talked about at all. I imagine one final look is going to introduce a little bit about the underground. And then that's the Gerudo symbol right there. And I believe he has some necklaces and all sorts of stuff. This is when he acquires the hand. He probably puts his hand on. He, you can see that his arm's still kind of fleshy, so it hasn't been affected just yet. Something. I don't know. We have Zelda's hand, an entrance to the cave. This hand reached out and grabbed. Is that Zelda's hand? It looks like it is because Link's right arm. It's Link's right arm that becomes. Zonai. Okay, we have another Gerudo symbol. This is definitely Ganondorf. There's no, <laughs> there's no way it's not. Okay, castle float up into the sky. Like it does. That we see it in the most current gameplay in the background. Some more. Zonai. Man. Okay, sequel uh, to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is now in development. That's Tears of the Kingdom. The E3 2021 took two years, two and a half years, before we heard anything more. Okay, Link got infested with malice for a bit. Ganondorf roars and awakens. Zelda falls. We see this. We see this here too, right? So this is a continuation to this scene the Zelda falls here then Link dives in after her right here okay Link's falling from a very high island to a lower island but I don't know or maybe they're just using the we can see a new construct enemy uh, it looks like it has the Shika eye for earrings with some sort of light and a clock in the middle I don't know. I think this is Link's arm going back to its scarred state. Okay, we know that this is Recall, right? We know it's his new arm, it's the L button, whatever this symbol is, this orange looking one. Gives you the rewind function. Okay, we have a like like. Nice dragon arm weapon. We have the water rewinding. I wonder if that's a story element when you get it. Then we have this, which is the dive upwards. It's called Ascend. Okay. We saw in the newest gameplay demonstration right here. 
you look up, you use ascend. You can use that under any anywhere that has a roof of any kind. And I wonder what kind of restrictions. I wonder if there's a distance. Like if this, right, this mountain wasn't so thin, right? Come on, keep going. Okay. It only does it for like three seconds to get through to the top of here. That's what I'm wondering, but. But here we don't see where he came from, and in this gameplay demonstration, you can definitely see, you can see wherever you are, there's always, there's always tinier islands that maybe perhaps at somewhere like this cliff, you use the ascend ability to get up here. That's what I'm, that's what I'm generally thinking, is using the ascend ability right here to get up on top. That would be fun. So far, we haven't seen any characters outside of Zelda, Link, and Ganon that are major. We haven't seen any Rivali or, you know, that, that kind of character that will lead to major plot elements. So I'm curious what's going to happen because obviously that's someone's arm. Yeah, let's go on to official trailer number one. So I'm guessing these are the Zonai, the goblins, moblins, people fighting amongst the malice. Get this sort of Zant-like energy, right? Right around here. This sort of this Zant look to it. And Zant's kind of got the gl blue glow. We have some tears. Years of the Kingdom. And some rain or shine, depending on how you want to look at it. Kind of goat shaped castles and rope or wind. Sort of like leather straps or something. Floating on a platform. There's. I think this kind of looks like these little fish heads. Yeah, we have Zelda or the legendary maiden. Doesn't really look like our Zelda. So it's Lady Hylia. Hmm. Uh, he's climbing up recall like we saw before. Hold on. Look at the thunderstorm. There's not much reason for him to be here. Now here, I'm wondering if this is underneath this, and if that's too high for Ascend. Like, would Ascend work here? That's what I'm kind of curious about. So what's the limitations going to be? Okay, he's falling. Now in the current trailer, we see a lot of man-made crafts, right? We see a steel plate with four engines stuck together to make something. Whereas this feels more like pre-built, designed for you to fly on. You have this glowing energy, Zonai energy, Zonai landmarks. These are probably going to be something because there's another one of these. Right here, we have the sort of new Zonai landmarks. So we got a bird flying thing, we got these Zonai landmarks, that's what I'm going to call them for now, or Zonai ground marks. We have Ouroboros-ish. Is that ram shaped or is it the lizards? Kind of feels like the lizards. Like a little horn and some scales, or the dragons. And then this is interesting. Because this feels very Twilight Princess. Well, I guess if we look at the Zant image, right? Sort of black and blue lining going on around here. Feels very, oh, that's sort of a Gerudo looking symbol too. I'll be here all day if I'm looking at Twilight Princess stuff, but it still has a very similar aesthetic. Almost as if Zant was part of the Zonai or the technology scene here Secretly, Zonai. Oh. Okay. 
the tears of the kingdom. And last trailer I want to go through. Oh, here we go. We're already starting. We're seeing these swirly bits. We're seeing these red energy. People are theorizing that these little red spots down here are the entrances to the dungeons or the underground. Okay, the other thing we need to talk about the swirly spiral in the very first trailer. We had spiraling Zonai energy. All protruding from this this hand. Get to see it a little bit better right here. There's a little bit of a mound. But it's right there. So we can see a sort of Banjo Kazooie looking hut. And then you get the spirals on top. So, this is an entrance to something. Whether or not it's a. You know, it's just a singular item, or if it's something you go in, these are the new shrines. Something completely different. If this just takes you down into some basement, sort of like an Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask hole but more obvious. Okay, we get new towers of some kind. This one is broadcasted, which makes me think they're enemy towers of some kind. Some more Zonai glow. This box, a little fish head. Zonai heads. wonder if Zonai even look. Like then you get this box at the bottom of this, but with a Zonai device man with a glowing red headlamp of uh, a tree with some new growing rot or something. Is this a lake? I don't remember what this is. You have some floating little fire sprites, some ghosts of some kind, I guess. You have, uh, what is this? A infected Zolfos. Okay, there's a little bit of the glow in front of the castle. You get the blight coming out of Death Mountain over there. Gliok. Right here. Potentially Gliok. Probably Gliok. It hasn't really been seen since first Legend of Zelda game. The Ancient Guardian on top of here. Are all the Ancient Guardians like turned off? I think this is what a Blood Moon looks like in this one. Or is this a cutscene? Because it seems like it doesn't just revive enemies, but there's also new blight forms. Okay, we got the arms coming after Link. Don't know if this is going to be an enemy type, but probably. Okay, we got our new hats. He also has a hat. He has the Zonai glow. Something Gerudo feeling. I wonder if there's going to be something in the center of them, or about them that you have to do. Everything's there for a reason. Yeah, we saw this here. Use the keys to eyeball. And it homes. We all know what we want. We all know we want the, the amber era. Not definitely not this one. We don't want it. Mm -mm. Okay, let me just look. Okay, then next. Okay, now this was important. There's a background element. So you keep seeing these rails. There's these rails connecting everything. Oh, here's their best look. There's rails going from the top of this part all the way down to the bottom of it. I don't think you can go up it, but these are the same kind of train track 
you look at his tr mode of transportation, now I have no idea if... Th there's probably a way for you to make a cart of some kind that you just push along. And so we see this with the Ultra Hand when he's making a raft. Right? Takes the, he takes the raft, he completes it. And you use the Ultra Hand to grab it, lift it. You have R to rotate. Right, so obviously that, that's going to be part of the puzzles. And we've seen these kind of puzzles in the most recently mastered Skyward Sword. Okay. Let's take a look at that real quick. Okay. The glowing mushroom in the back. There's some... I don't know what that is. We haven't seen bombs yet, so there might be... Bombs of some kind. Right? The plants to pick up. And that's the only way to get bombs. That'd be nice. Bombs were the best item in Breath of the Wild. Kind of broke it. Uh, bathtub. Uh, nothing. Oh, he's dressed like this. He's dressed like the goddess Hylia. So is this the first time we're either meeting goddess Hylia? Right? Or is it Zelda fulfilling her role as the descendant of the god? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, so he picked up a tire right there. Right? And here, we see two tires, two other tires with fish heads, and he has glued on some boards, some planks, some boards, some headlights, lots of things going into this. And then what's probably most important is the generator. What we know from here is the fact that there are Items like these fans that have their own like battery. Why don't we try so when we got that battery, you know, it doesn't seem like it lasts all that long. Especially, especially for going up, right? So when he swings, it goes up and then it drops dramatically the moment it has to propel off of the ground. So we're seeing an actual propelling force taking up a lot of energy and I imagine with the flying machines that we see here it's probably most definitely going to be ha needing a generator of some kind um, he has a steering component kind of cool I think I think that's a steering component Wow uh, and then you can upgrade the battery with some kind of generator or something. Maybe there'll be a shop. Ooh! This just goes up. This goes straight up. Here's our Eventide Island, maybe? I don't remember where Eventide I Island is, I'm just guessing. Okay, we got an orb with what looks like a chain, but might not necessarily be one. We have... Long strings of something going up here. Just a ton in the sky. Okay, this is the closest we see to... I don't know if this is malice or like a hole in the ground. It feels like it goes down right around here. There's a tent here. There's what feels like... I don't know if that's the new... Golem enemy, we have a rock falling. I'm guessing rocks are falling all the time. And you just fly up and see what you get. See what kind of island you end up at. Okay, distorted voices. This time, the logo has been changed a little bit. So 
Please lend him your power. We don't know who that is. And then we get May 12th, 2023. So we have the black and blue aesthetic for the review, but it doesn't really go along with everything else in the thing. So I'm guessing this is the final Master Sword we're able to upgrade to. This makes more sense, given the rest of the logo. I wonder why they changed it. I mean, aesthetically, it makes sense to drop it from black and blue to pure blue energy. Oh. Much to think about. That's just Link's messed up hand. It doesn't have any of the Right, there was a scene. What? Let's see. Where is it? There we go. Yeah, Link's arm gets eaten up by Malice, or Ganondorf energy. And that's what leads to his arm looking like this. And his sword is missing too. Okay, he dives. He tries to dive for Zelda, probably doesn't get her. Zelda and Link explore the underground. Link's clothes are fully intact. They find this hand sitting right there. And the hand then latches itself onto Link. As you can see, Link is still fully clothed. His clothes are intact. Look at that sleeve. It's totally fine. The malice then attacks him in a separate incident of some kind. Then, Link is all scarred up from that malice attack, and you can see all of his clothes are falling apart. Then, Zelda is falling under Ganon's grasp, or is going to be. And Link reaches out with his broken hand, turns into the glowing hand. Zelda at some point reaches out halfway through the game. Link reaches for it. And just showing that Zelda is connected with whoever this hand is.